favorite time of year and it's time to think cozy thoughts and surround yourself with beautiful colors and friends and family. I love to decorate but sometimes using the bright and vibrant colors of fall seem predictable. So I like to use sage greens, warm buttery yellows, and muted oranges. It's a little bit unexpected but it still brings that warmth that we associate with this time of year. Decorating with fall pumpkins and gourds is really great to use throughout the entire season. It's a really easy way to decorate without having to do too much. And you can put them on your porch or on your outdoor furniture, but I like to also bring them inside, on your dining table, on a console, or even in your kitchen. For this table, I'm using gourds with a warm, buttery color. What I like about this table is that it's really simple and easy to do. I also use paper placemats and place cards. What I like about paper is that you can throw it away. It's easy cleanup, because what you want to do at any gathering, especially the Thanksgiving holiday, is to stay with your guests and not in the kitchen. Using paper items actually can help you decide what kind of coloration you want to use and what kind of decorating you want to set up on your table. On the table, I have rosemary and lavender, which I really love using herbs because it gives a really warm scent. But when you go on a nature walk or you can pick up stems here at Rogers Gardens, these are really great items to use as well, especially mixed in with gourds. Another thing I like to use are fruits and vegetables too on my tablescapes. Getting a pair, especially with this coloration, it goes perfectly with my gourds and it also gives that warm fuzzy fall feel. And this is great to eat as a snack or even incorporate it within your meal. For this table, I switched out the gourds and added bottles with floral stems. Now bottles are really easy to collect and you can use time and time again. Now for the stems, we took clippings from our own garden here at Rogers Gardens and got some from our floral studio. You only need to use one or two stems per bottle and you can create a really beautiful motif of highs and lows and also a variety of colors. Buttery yellows, soft creams, and even some blushes and some variegated greenery as a final touch. For each place setting, you can still keep the pair with this particular coloration, but what I like to do is from the farmer's market is get really cool and unusual mushrooms. They have beautiful color and they also have a petal look that could complement your flowers. I switched out the flowers and added some pumpkins in beautiful sage greens and muted oranges and I also added some succulent pumpkins. If you'd like to learn how to make a succulent pumpkin please go to our YouTube channel and look up how to make a succulent pumpkin or you can also come to Rogers Gardens where we have some available. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our Rogers Gardens channel and also follow us on Instagram and Facebook. Rogers Gardens brings beauty into your home and garden.